Hi, Ronald Easter here, arriving a little late for my mining shift, which is nothing out of the ordinary, but that looks a little out of the ordinary. And so do all these words. It says something about being a changeling. Guess that means I get to kill people. Which led to my decision to travel to the isolated Lava Land Luxury Resort. I had a little bit of trouble getting through narrow passages, but that didn't matter because I looked like I was geared up and ready to go. I saw a miner, and then he saw me hiding in the dark. Hey, I then asked him where the ore's at. He ignored my question and said, There's a massacre to the right. Maybe that did answer my question. Perhaps he meant a massacre of already mined ores. I then remembered that a massacre was actually a creature, so I became terrified and grabbed onto the miner for safety. Whoa, get off, get off! I was just minding my own business when I heard a B-movie monster roar. The miner had no clue that I was actually the real monster. I blinded my victim with a kinky ling sting. I can't see! Without any vision, the miner became an easy random target. I summoned my arm blade like some kind of anime and used it for slaughter. The cow tried to run away, but it couldn't hide from the beef cutter attached to my arm. I was bringing my tenderized meat back when a storm hit. I went the wrong way. Shit. I equipped my pickaxe to mine the glass out of the window. I was successful, however I succeeded in collapsing as well. I died, but you know what they say, you only live once, until you get a second chance as a zombie like Jesus. I dragged my dead buddy to a secluded part of the mining station. I was then cock blocked by a white knight. I had to come up with a story. I told him, dude. I chose that phrase in order to mellow the harsh vibes and give myself a bro tone. Fuck! I figured I should tell the truth. This guy got fucked up. At that point, it seemed like he wasn't a threat, so I squeezed my lemon juice in his eyes. Shit! I'm blind! I then took the opportunity to stab him, and his last words were... Cousin, it is your cousin. You want to go bowling? No, I mean... I dragged the two bodies back to my private room like a necrophiliac about to have a threesome. I was trying to extract DNA from these corpses when I got a message from above about the rules and junk. I played it dumb as always. The assistant principal explained I need to use the DNA extraction sting for that. But what fun is that? I miss the good days of killing people and draining their bodies till they're gray as an assistant's jumpsuit. I needed to switch out of this zombie body, and this guy had the coolest name out of my selection. Apparently a flaming personality that was on display for everyone to see as well. I tried to jog the flames off, but the heat was too much. Ghosts danced around my burning remains like a bonfire. Wow, look, I'm back. Back to the repeating hell of living life as a plasma man without plasma. No surprise, I died. But I'll keep on kicking. No. Let me burn to a crisp where it's socially acceptable. At least my Simpsons tire fire looking ass would fit in at Lava World, but he is intent on bringing me back to the station. One plus light for the brave cyborg that tried to extinguish my flame, but I stayed lit like a nicely rolled joint. Oh, another shocking twist. I die. Again. Let's do this! I can fight fire with fire. Oh, but my fiery passion isn't enough. I rolled with my ghostly spinning wheel right into my permanent resting place.